Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we are gonna have a Bloody Mary. <laughs> So a Bloody Mary is uh, something I'm really afraid of. It's a lot of stuff I have no experience with or I think it's really disgusting. But it's New Year and New Year Day, it's Bloody Mary Day. So for the sake of uh, science, I'm going to mix myself one. I'm going to start with an IBA recipe just because uh, I don't know where to start from. So let's start by getting a mixing glass. And I think I'm gonna build this a bit of a different way from how I usually build cocktail. Let's start with a tomato juice. 90 milliliters actually. Never tasted tomato juice before in my life. I know it's really scary. Until I was uh, probably 25. I also really hated fresh tomato. I will just uh, like tomato sauce, but I don't know, I guess it's time to expand our views. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It just tastes like tomato sauce. Well, anyway, this is 90 milliliters of this. Then I'm gonna go on with the spices and then I'm gonna add the alcohol at the end after I give it a taste. So, 50 milliliters of lemon juice. Lemon. Ooh, look at all the, I can see the essential oil pumping up. Then the recipe called for two dashes of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Do you say like that? Worcestershire. 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 Worcestershire sauce, maybe. Anyway, in Japan, it's called Usta sauce. That makes it a lot easier to say. So two dishes. I don't know, I have this container which doesn't have dishes. I'm just gonna put a, let's say, half a teaspoon. Yeah. Maybe that should be enough. Then Tabasco, I cannot really eat spicy food. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a drop of this stuff. I'm just gonna go with one drop of this stuff. Oh, I'm so shaking. I'm so scared of this Tabasco. Mm. One drop of Tabasco. really smells strong. Then some ground black pepper. I'm gonna, let's go for a bit. I can take black pepper. And then some celery salt. Celery salt, I couldn't find it here in Japan. So what I'm gonna do, I found some celery seed after a long research. So I'm just gonna get some celery seeds and I'm gonna ground them with a bit of a coarse salt and I hope that gives me some fit assembly celery salt. Let's see. What a weird smell! but it's not half bad. No, yeah, not bad. Just like, it says like salt and celery. Like it says a couple of pinches, maybe as much, maybe a bit more. Okay. Then I'm gonna give it a stir. I'm gonna try a second what it tastes like without the vodka. I thought a lot worse. Okay, so now it's time for a vodka, 45 milliliters. I'm gonna use the Stoliknaya or Stoli, which I found to be a bit more citrusy. I think it probably is gonna help this cocktail. 
as he has some lemon it's gonna match the flavor then I'm gonna get some ice and I'm gonna give it a good stir but gentle IBA website said to give it a gentle stir I don't know why gentle the default guy says to put it in the shaker and just make it roll okay I'm just gonna be gentle by the way the amount of alcohol in this cocktail is relatively low I must say because it's 45 milliliters of vodka and the rest of the ingredients is quite a lot like so still smells weird <laughs> It smells really weird then it says to pour it in a glass with more ice let's strain this guy my first attempt and at a bloody mary and then we have just enough space to put some garnish which is classically should be made of uh, some celery stick and some lemon wedge lemon right here let's work with celery and here we go with a celery stick probably some olives will be nice too i don't know i never tried this thing so first of all let's give this a try then we're going to decide what we think about this terrible drink is it really terrible as it looks or is it something i could see myself drinking cheers bloody mary i can feel the drop of tabasco even just one drop i can really feel it so first of all the good news this is not disgusting i thought i would not be able to drink this but it's drinkable but i really cannot understand the meaning of this thing it's like you're really trying to have some alcohol even though you're not really feeling like having any long drink or anything my favorite part of the drink is probably the lemon so if I felt like something like that, maybe I would go for a vodka lemon or a Tom Collins. Well, that's going to be good, a Tom Collins. Why you want to have something like with tomato juice? I think it's the step toward alcoholism. I'm sorry, but I think if you wake up in the morning and you feel like, oh, I really feel like a Bloody Mary. I guess you might need to have a talk with some professionals but it's not bad I'm pretty sure you can make it better by putting like some more um, tasty garnish uh, yeah olives will be my first choice the celery is fun let's try it yeah. I would think my first step would be to improve the tomato sauce a bit. I usually, in my tomato sauce, I use some garlic, I will use some oregano, I will use some uh, kombu stock, which is basically like uh, MSG. But hey, there are worse things in life than a Bloody Mary, so... So I wish you a happy new year. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, do whatever you want in the new year. Have a great 2022. It looks like a good number. Steal yourself a drink. And I will see you next time. Cheers. Yeah, maybe the salute is the best part. <laughs>